10, well, we have probably more than that now because we've taken some seniors too. Okay. That will probably stay with us. Yeah. And um, so we have another 10 to 15 dogs that can be adopted that are good dogs that just need people to open up their hearts and their minds to, to these animals. I know, I know our, uh, some of the members of Bowie Claw have, and I was uh, telling you shortly, uh, briefly, that there's a couple of members. One of them has a three-legged dog. Right. And the, uh, another one has a, um, a deaf cat. Uh-huh. And, um, and, in fact, I had a deaf dog, she, uh, age. Age, yeah. He went deaf. Right. And, and it, it was just, I mean, it's like well, Megan, she's blind. Right. And it was funny because in here, I just would tell her to come, and she would. You could see her coming toward the voice. Oh, absolutely. They learn, don't they? They oh, acclimate. With blind dogs, their other senses kick in, and, and yeah. to be honest with you, a lot of people don't understand blindness. I think, or their eyes are probably their weakest sense. Their nose is their strongest. Absolutely. Sense, and their yeah, ears are very strong. Wow. But we're looking for people to open up, the people to adopt these dogs, not you know, to, to, to take them into their homes when they don't really have the relationship yet with these dogs. They they, they become. You know, they become part of the family, just like a, a regular able-bodied dog, even more so because they depend on humans yeah. so much more. They, I mean, Megan depends on my voice, and, and you know, they just, I just need people to open up to the, to the dogs. Um, they sit in shelters, and I'm sure hundreds of people will go by shelters and not even consider them. And luckily, shelter volunteers end up calling me if they sit there too long, and I ended up go to do a temperament test and do whatever we do, you know, for an able-bodied dog, and they come to us. So now you are located in Calvert County. Yeah, we're in Calvert County. Uh -huh. Now I think that uh, hopefully Tom has put the website up oh, for yeah. pets. Uh, the website is pets, uh, pets with, with disabilities. disabilities. Org. And you got to be careful because when I was typing it, I know you and I were trying to email. <laughs> I'm telling you, disabilities like, is a kind of a strange word to write. Pets with disabilities. I know. And, you know, it's like uh, D I S I L I B I L I T I E. And it's dot and it's dot org, not dot com. <gasps> Oh, yeah, it's dot org. org. Yeah, okay. It's, a, it's an organization. Dot org. Yeah, dot okay. org. So if we have dot com up there, yeah, it's not going to sure get to dot us. Dot org. Yeah. So that's excellent. Now, but um, you you located in Calvert County, but you rescue. You were telling me you rescue one from Russia. Yeah. You got to tell me how you did that. <laughs> it was very I mean, political. Russia? Not. Yeah. I mean Russia. It was a big. It was a big rescue for us. Um, the Russian, we're our, our, what we do is really known worldwide. We get we get emails from all over the world, and we got an email from a shelter in Russia about ah, this dog. I can't believe that. Yeah, and we had someone very interested in the United States in adopting the dog. Oh wow! So after eight months, we finally found this wonderful couple. They actually, after we've gone through all these loops and trying to get the dog here. Um, Finally, this, Rush, this this couple that we met said, we'll go get him. So they flew to Russia for the weekend and brought him back. It's as easy as that. Unreal. Yeah, they went to Russia and got Tuzak after nine months of going through lots of red tape. And they went to Russia, and then um, the people at the shelter drove him up to Moscow, and they flew back. That is that is amazing yeah. for some uh, somebody to adopt a dog. I well, mean, they didn't adopt. They came to visit him, and it, it didn't work out. Oh. So uh, Tuzak will be staying with us oh. at the rescue. Uh, well, his Isn't name it? is Tuzak? His name is Tuzak. Tuz it's a Tuzak. very common name in Russia. Okay. But it's not a common name in the United States, so I kept his name Tuzak. That, Tuzak. That's, Tuzak. That's a great name. It's a great name. That's so a I great think, name. Yeah, it's a great name. He's, he's, a, he's a great dog. He's 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 fun. He's in a he's in a, in, he's a three-legged dog in a wheelchair. So what kind of dog okay uh, I'm, I'm sorry but it's all right I know just ask it chocolate labs and mixes yeah. what kind of dog is he what does he look Tuzak. like um, is he like I mean he's like a Russian is, mutt but a Russian was, mutt okay <laughs> but I would say maybe ah uh, uh, what would we say he was great thing maybe no. He's large. He's a big Very dog. Large. Yeah, he's a big boy. Ro Russian, like a wolfhound mix. Yes. Wow. Yeah, like a Russian wolfhound mix. Okay. Wow. Because I often like wonder in Russian, are the dogs different? We, we actually have a mobile vet that comes to our house once a week to help me with the wheelchair dogs. Oh. Um, I have to. It's just they are they demand a lot of care, and mm -hmm. I often can't get some of these bigger dogs to the vet once a week, and she thinks he looks like a bear. 
Well, actually, you know, it's funny because a, a friend of mine um, adopted a cat, and uh, it accidentally got out and got hit by a car yeah. oh, and God. lost the use of its back. back. Yeah. And do you know that she took care of that cat had diapers, had oh, oh, yeah. and did all the things that you need to do yep. for a dog, for a cat that has a paralyzed back. Right. And that I would go see that cat, and it that cat would did not know mm -hmm. it had a handicap, uh, well, nor our, did it care. That's right. Our logo was their spirit isn't broken. It certainly wasn't. It was like it's amazing. The human spirit that breaks. Yeah. And it's really sad. Yeah, I guess I get I, emails all the time about humans not being able to handle their dogs, and it's very sad. And uh, yeah. I'm like, you know, you got to step up to the plate for your dog. That's the you know, I think line. that's true in anything. Yeah, step any, up to the any plate. Any part, yeah. I mean, and, even, and, you know, we've had shows on obedience training. Yeah. Things that people, when they are, are met with a challenge from their pets, uh, give up so easily sometimes when yeah. there are other options and maybe they're, there, and w that's what Bowie's Claw is trying to do, educate the public that there are so many other options. And we want and people out there who have a pet with a disability or struggling, they can at least maybe con consult with you oh, and yes. you can guide them to help them keep their pets. Abs that's, uh, that's what we do too. We Excellent. Have, yeah, we have a lady, we have three or four different volunteers that will handle questions about blind dogs, handle questions about wheelchair dogs. Um, wow. Sometimes I get a little overwhelmed, so I have like certain people that, that help me with questions, and mm -hmm. we counsel people to try to keep these dogs uh -huh. because I'm, I tell them right up front, you know, trying to rehome your wheelchair dog is going to be tough. So, but it's worth. You already it. Yeah, it is worth it. I mean, look what happened with Duke. We took this dog who we only had for maybe a month, and we made his tragedy into something really a great organization. Mm -hmm. It's a fantastic organization, and there really needs to be almost a chapter in every single state because that's how bad it is. And we have dogs coming from California, Ohio, uh, New York, New Jersey, because there just isn't a rescue like ours um, no, in I the think. United States. Now, Shranique, right. you are a volunteer. Yes. So tell me a little bit about how you got into this as well, because this is a challenge. I knew Duke when he was walking on all fours, and when it happened, she went on vacation after it happened, and I kind of took care of him. It was really hard, but he was so good in a wheelchair, so, so I've known her since then. Yeah, she's known us before Duke. So yeah. how long has that been? How long have you been working with pets oh, with disabilities? 10, 11 years. Yeah. 11 years. Oh, yeah. So now, do you foster any right no, now? I live with my parents right now, but okay. I do help out when she needs help. Wow, that's that's nice. So it's very very rewarding, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah. Now, do you have Joyce? Do you have um, uh, foster people? We we have families? a few fosters, not many. Most of the dogs come into the rescue. Um, we're always looking for good foster families, but um, you know. Okay, you get your ears on out there. We have a foster families <laughs> yeah. needed. Foster families need it. There yeah, go. we have a few foster families, not many, and actually, it's really great because. My mother-in-law has a house next to us, so she fosters some of our senior dogs, which really helps out quite a bit. Wow. She has a nice home next to ours. That is she nice. She takes in some of the seniors. Now, you know, I was thinking, you know, we were, we were talking earlier, and you were telling us about a fundraiser that you're going to be having, and by the time people see this on the cable channel, yeah. it'll probably be over. However, <laughs> yeah. this is going to be on YouTube in the next few days. Okay. So please tell us because I think that YouTube gets a lot of hits. Yeah. Our shows get a lot of hits. So tell us about your fundraiser that you've got going. We have, we're having. The date. Yeah, the date's June 4th. It's on a Friday night. It's 6 to 10 p.m. It's going to be at Running Hair Vineyard. It's a new vineyard in Calvert County, about five minutes from the rescue. Um, they actually donated this beautiful building for the evening to us. Uh, they were so impressed with our work. Uh, it's, uh, I am so excited about it. Um, we have some um, silent auction items that are just out of this world. We have a lady um, director of fundraising now um, that's helping us with the silent auction. And we have things from Disney, Disney World tickets to uh, flight uh, airlines who've donated items to us, to even Hollywood stars who've donated to us.